guys the past few weeks have really been exciting for me because everywhere i go and work people have been commenting popo you have lost weight and you have no idea how much that is music to my ears so for those of you who don't know i'm a peripatetic nurse and it means i work in different care homes i work across seven care homes here in northern ireland so i can spend maybe two months or three months without going to a particular care home and most of the time when I go maybe after three months to a particular care home, because they haven't seen me in a long time, they see that change that I've actually lost some weight. And it has been music to my ears. If you're coming across my face for the first time, my name is Pauline and today I'm going to be talking about my weight loss journey. I said I've lost weight, but I am still big. It doesn't mean that I have achieved my goal weight loss. At the present moment, I have lost a good 40 pounds and I want to go for another 40 pounds. So this is just to show you that I've actually lost weight. 107 kgs to 92 kgs. So that's good 15 kgs. But so far I've lost 18 kgs. But this time round, I want to take you along with me on this journey because I'm going to be starting a challenge called the 75 Heart Challenge. And on that 75 Heart Challenge, it's only for 75 days. And on those 75 days, I'm going to be posting on a daily basis what I've done for the day. So I'm going to talk about the challenge later in the video. And for those of you who want to join me on this challenge, you're very much welcome. It's only 75 days, but I tell you, those 75 days will change your mindset for life. It's called the 75 Heart Challenge because it is hard. But if other people are able to do it, I can do it, you can do it, we can all do it. So I'll talk of the challenge later. Right now, I want to talk about how I managed to lose one, two, three, four, five, up to 18 kgs. I can tell you one thing. I have finally managed to crack the cord for weight loss. If you've been following me, you know that a few months ago, I came and shared with you the challenges that I've been having with weight loss. I indicated that I finally figured out what is needed for me to actually lose weight. Because I finally implemented what is needed to lose weight, I have finally started to lose weight because it has been a struggle for me. I've been on a weight loss challenge for years and on all those years, losing 5 kgs has been very difficult. Trust me, I've done all sorts of diets. I've been doing keto, do paleo, do, you know, all sorts of things to lose weight until I finally figured out that it's not about the diet. It's not about the calories. I'm sure we have all had calories in, calories out. You have to move faster to lose weight. Trust me, all that doesn't work. It doesn't work. And this is proven research, which I'm going to be talking about in consecutive videos, guys, because I don't want to bombard you with information. And by the way, I'm not a medical professional. So what I'm going to be sharing here with you, Disclaimer, it's not medical advice, but it is what has worked for me to finally start to lose the weight that I've been struggling with for years. You understand, guys? So, guys, I'll tell you something. In the past, I've been working so hard to lose weight. I would go to the gym. I would walk every day, walk 10 kilometers, walk 12 kilometers. But the weight just wasn't falling off. And the moment I just let go of the exercises, I gained more and more and more weight. I remember one time I was in the kitchen dishing out food and I was with my son. And I don't eat much. So my portion is usually smaller than my children's portions. So my son commented and said, he says, I've always been observing that most of the time you don't eat a lot of food. You hardly eat, you don't eat much. But why is it that you gain weight? Why is it that you are this big? Why is it that I'll be blunt because he was blunt? Why is it that you are fat? After hearing those words, those words were ringing in my head, ringing in my head. Why is it that I don't eat a lot, but I keep on gaining weight and gaining weight and gaining weight, guys? And then I had to go and do a study so that I really understand my body. What is it that my body needs? Why is it that I'm not losing weight? And I discovered a thing called insulin resistance, right? Most of us are not able to lose weight because we are suffering from insulin resistance. If you don't know what insulin is, insulin is a hormone that we have in our bodies. It is released when we eat food and that insulin is a fat storing hormone. 
what happens is most of the times when you eat with, with high insulin levels and what happens is before the insulin levels drop we go and eat another meal and the insulin levels are constantly high and as long as your insulin levels in your body are constantly high it simply means that your body is not going to tap into your fat stores which means you're not going to burn fat to lose weight you are only going to have excess insulin in your body which is going to be telling your body to store fat store fat store fat and as it stores fat you continue to gain weight and continue to gain weight and continue to gain weight and by the way you don't need to eat a lot of food for you to spike your insulin so what i noted is that with me i would drink drink my tea two teaspoons of sugar drink my tea three teaspoons of sugar and i will constantly drink my tea three four five six times a day so the first thing which i needed to do was to change my relationship with food and like I told you that I needed to address the hormone insulin and as soon as I started addressing that hormone that's when I realized that my weight started to gradually come down because I had started addressing insulin which is a fat storing hormone. I have not adequately addressed the insulin because I have not been 100% consistent. I can do it for two days and stop, do it for three days, stop, do it for one day a week and stop. And this is what I've been doing. For me to be able to bring my insulin levels down, I've been doing what we call intermittent fasting. Intermittent fasting is not a diet. Intermittent fasting is a pattern of eating. Whereby you have periods where you're not eating and you have a window, you eat within a certain window. Why do you do intermittent fasting? You do intermittent fasting so that you address this hormone which causes fat storage called insulin. So what happens with intermittent fasting is you have to have a window where you're eating and you have to have a window where you're not eating. The longer the window where you're not eating, the more you are addressing the insulin hormone. You understand? So what happens is whenever you eat, you spike your insulin, right? Most of the time we've been told that eat six times a day. And as you're eating six times a day, you are not giving that hormone the opportunity to go down so that you utilize your fat stores. The hormone is always high, 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 high. And you're always storing fat, storing fat, storing fat, and gaining weight, gaining weight, gaining weight, and gaining weight. Understand, guys? So what happens is, if you start this pattern called intermittent fasting, you are allowing your body time to relax you are allowing the insulin levels to go down in your body you are allowing your body to use energy from the fat which is in your body you are not using energy from the food that you are eating but from the fat stores in your body you understand so i started doing intermittent fasting and it wasn't a situation whereby i'm doing 16 8 16 8 whereby i'm saying i'm fasting for 16 hours and i'm eating for eight hours I've been switching it up. So what I've been doing, guys, is today I can do a 12-hour fast. Jump one day, the next day I do a 16-hour. Jump one day, the next day I do a 24-hour fast. I jump one day, jump two days, jump three days, and the next day I do a 30-hour fast. That's how I've been operating. And what I like about intermittent fasting is that it does not restrict you on what you're supposed to eat. Not that I'm saying you're supposed to eat everything that you want. You have to be smart in your way of eating. And in the past few months, what I've also changed is um, the kind of food that I eat. I've decided mostly that I eat a real food. And what do I mean by real food? Most of the time, I was eating ultra-processed food. And ultra-processed food spikes your insulin like no man's business. If you remember the first time you saw me on YouTube, I was doing a grocery shopping with Nanel. And if you look at the things that I was shopping for, all I was doing is getting ultra processed food. Are you serious? I thought. <laughs> no. Most of the time, I was eating ultra processed food, which was not good for me. Even if I wasn't eating in large quantities, the type and quality of food that I was eating was not good for me until I decided now I'm going to eat food, which is a real food, which is not ultra processed food, which is in its natural state, like meat, not processed meat, but a real meat, like just steak, fresh meat that you go and buy from the butchers, eggs, 
free range eggs that you also go and buy from the butchers or from the farms that's the kind of food that i've been leaning towards of late and it has really helped me tremendously because as soon as i started eating a real food as soon as i started mindful eating because there's this thing that you go to work see some chocolates on the table you don't really need to eat those chocolates you're not hungry but you're eating them because they're seated right in front of you christmas is coming if you work in a care home you know that the relatives are going to bring you in sweets chocolates cakes and everything and i was the kind of person that when i go to work oh there's a piece of cake i'm going to have my coffee with my cake now i've disciplined myself to know that i'm at work i'm not going to rush to eat that cake because there is cake i'm not going to rush to eat those sweets because they are sweets i'm not going to eat those cupcakes because i've been given cupcakes i now practice mindful eating and before i go and eat anything i have to ask myself am i really hungry this applies even when i am doing intermittent fasting Sometimes I use the fasting tracker for intermittent fasting and I set it for 18 hours or I set it for 20 hours. At times, at 18 hours when I'm ready to break my fast, I ask myself, am I really hungry? Do I really need to break my fast right now? And if I'm not hungry at that particular point in time, there's no need for me to eat. I'll extend my fast. So I extend it whether to 20 hours, I extend it to 22 hours, I extend it to 24 hours, I extend it to 26 hours as long as i am not feeling hungry and for you to be able not to feel hungry you have to eat the right foods high protein high fat diet low carbohydrate you have to eat the right foods like high protein high fat which provides satiety which means you are going to be full for longer ultra processed foods keep you hungry because as soon as you eat a, a piece of cake you want to eat more, you want to eat more, you want to eat more, and you have a sugar crash. I have noted if you eat sugary things, two hours later, you'll be very hungry, wanting to eat more. Three hours later, you're hungry. You eat more sugary food, you eat more ultra processed food, you are ever hungry and you're ever eating, eating, eating. But if you eat whole food, like your whole grains, like your meat and your eggs, it keeps you fuller for longer. And another thing which I noted is that exercise without proper diet will not yield any good results because i'm that kind of person who'd go to the gym i'm running on the treadmill when it comes to working out as big as i am i've trimmed a little bit let's not forget that as big as i am i can really do all my exercises i can run and everything but i was stuck at losing weight because i had a poor relationship with my food I was not eating proper food for my body. I was not addressing my hormones. But as soon as I started addressing my hormones, because it's not only insulin that I addressed, I also addressed cortisol hormone, which is related to sleeping. Leptin. There are so many hormones that I addressed, but I don't want to dive into all of the hormones in one video because I don't want to overwhelm you. But on consecutive videos, I'm going to be talking about them. But what you have to understand is that when it comes to weight loss, it's only 20% exercise and 80 percent is diet which means you have to be very mindful of what goes into your mouth not only just being mindful of what goes into your mouth but how you address the hormone insulin because most of us have got insulin resistance and we don't know that we've got insulin resistance the older you grow like me i'm 39 years old i'm going on 40 guys very soon i'll be 40 years in march 2025 i'll be 40 years the older I became, the more difficult the weight loss. Back in the days, I'll go to the gym, two weeks down the line, you would see a major difference. But in the past few years, I would go to the gym, one month, two months, three months, and I would not see any results, none whatsoever, until I figured out why I was not losing weight. Guys, so now I've not been putting maximum effort into losing weight, but the small, small, small changes that I did managed to bring my weight down by a good 18 kgs. Understand, guys? So now I want to embark on the 75 hard journey so that I am serious about my weight. Because one thing that I've been struggling with is consistency. I am never, even when I've lost this weight, I am never consistent for three, four, five consecutive days. I'm consistent for two days, stop for three, four, five days. And then do another three four days but i've seen that if i'm constant for two three days in a week 
every week consistent for two three days two three days in a week i managed to lose weight but now i want to be consistent every single day that's why i am starting this 75 heart challenge which is a mental program which means which is meant to reprogram your mind which is meant to help you with discipline so i'll tell you the rules of this 75 heart and i'm going to be documenting on a single day so the rule number one for 75 heart is that you have to choose a healthy diet that you're going to follow doesn't matter whether you want to choose keto or you want to choose carnivore whether you choose any diet that you want i know the kind of diet that i'm going to choose and i'm going to stick to that kind of diet each individual is free to choose their own healthy diet i'm going to be doing vlogs going forward which means when i go and buy my food stuff for the week i'll check you along with me and show you what is it that i buy for my weekly groceries right the second thing is that each and every single day you have to do two exercises 45 minute exercises one indoors and one outdoors it doesn't matter whether it's raining whether it's snowing whether there's a fire outside whether there's you have to do one exercise outside 45 minutes every day and then 45 minutes indoors indoors does not necessarily mean that you go to the gym indoors can be inside the house like inside this house and another thing that i did not tell you inside this house i've been doing a lot of exercises i make sure that i leave my slam ball in the kitchen and every time because my kitchen is next to the bathroom every time before i go in bath because there's a slam slam ball in the kitchen why i use the kitchen is because there is a space in my kitchen I do slim ball exercises 10-15 minutes, then I go in bath, and that has really helped a lot. At some point in time, I even had my fitness flyer in the kitchen, and I would do a few exercises in the kitchen before I go in bath. So, you can do many exercises indoors. I even have a stepper indoors. At times, I'll take a stepper, put it in the kitchen, and make sure that before I go in bath, I do stepper exercises. So, I switch it up every time. Or the next week, my friend that in the kitchen, there's a set of dumbbells. And before I go in bath, I just do whatever sets of dumbbells, then I go in bath. You understand? So, when it comes to indoor exercises, you can do them at the gym, you can do them inside your home. You can do your outdoor exercises even outside your home or you choose to go for a walk and i'll tell you the benefits of walking in consecutive videos when it comes to one of the hormones like the cortisol hormone walking is important to address the cortisol hormone which is also another thing which inhibits us from weight loss point number three you have to drink a gallon of water every day this is one thing that I struggle with a lot. I really struggle with drinking water. I can tell you that in the past week, I've not even, I've not even taken a liter of pure water. Like the past three days, I only had a, a glass of water, just one glass of water. I'll drink anything else. I'll drink Coke Zero. I'll drink, but I don't drink water. So this one is definitely going to be a challenge for me. But I am going to embark on it so that I change my mindset. A gallon of water, if you round it off, is more like four liters of water per day. And we are talking of pure water, like four liters of water per day. So every single day, you have to drink four liters of water. The fourth thing that you need to do is to read a book, 10 pages of a book every day. And this book, it has to focus on self-development, something which is going to help you develop yourself i've already bought my own books i've already bought five or six or seven books that i'm going to be reading during this time period so you can buy whatever book you want but as long as it is a book which is going to help you develop one way or the other you are not supposed to use audio books it's a book that you read literally then point number five no alcohol for all those 75 days no alcohol i'm not an alcoholic but there are instances where you i go out with my friends and i I like to have a cocktail or whatever so today because i'm just coming from a, a date with my friends today i went out with my friends and i was like guys this is the last cheers this is the last cocktail that i'm having with you no more cocktails for the next seven five days no more alcohol it's not going to be any bother for me because i do that once in a while i don't i can stay the whole year without even testing alcohol I'm fine with that but for those who drink on a regular basis it's going to be difficult for them but it's a challenge that you have to do no alcohol for 75 days and the last thing that you need to do is to take a progress photo on a daily basis 
every day you have to take a photo if you fail in any of these things that i've mentioned if you forget to take a photo if you forget to read 10 pages if you forget to drink four liters of water if you forget to exercise indoors and outdoors and if you forget to eat right and to cheat you have to start from day one doesn't matter whether you're now in day 60 or you're in day 50 if you break any of those rules you have to start from day one so i love this challenge because it's one challenge which is going to help me get disciplined because discipline is what has been lacking even in these months i've te i'm telling you that i've been losing weight but i've not been consistent because i'm only consistent two three i've never in the past uh 10 years or so i've never been consistent for seven consecutive days not even once i'm always constant for two three and i go back to my old habits for two three more days and i'm constant for another two three you understand so now i want to be consistent on a daily basis and this is the challenge that is going to help me change my mindset and change my approach to life which is going to help me change in many aspects of life so if you are willing to take up on this challenge with me tomorrow i'm posting my day one of 75 hard what i'm going to do is i'll upload obviously short videos so that i don't waste your data one minute videos what i did what i ate and everything then every sunday i'll come and share an update on what each week has been like have i lost any weight have i lost any inches and stuff like that i already weighed yesterday at work and i was 92 kilograms right and want to see that from 92 kilograms want to see that from 92 kilograms if i start this week what is my weight going to be next week and so forth and so on so guys this is all that i wanted to share with you do join me on this challenge and if you haven't subscribed to my channel do subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell so that you never miss any of my videos and if you've got any questions do drop them in the comment section i know i did not cover everything that i needed to cover but as we go along i will be sharing with you everything since this is a journey i'm going to be sharing with you more and more information as you go along so subscribe to my channel guys and turn on the notification bell so that you never miss any of my videos thank you so much for watching guys i'll see you in my next video bye